What is going on guys, Josh White here, and you're watching another episode of the J-Dub Twins. So, before we get started, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of our latest videos. So, today, I'm going to be talking about why I always, absolutely always drive in Sport Plus mode, all right? So let's get it. So, why do I always drive in Sport Plus mode? That is because, this car is an absolute blast to drive in Sport Plus mode. To be more specific, okay, I thoroughly enjoy driving this car. I enjoy driving this car in Sport Plus mode because in normal mode, it's just not fun, okay? Uh, it's funny because I do drive in normal mode whenever I'm trying to be conscientious of how much gas I'm consuming. Yeah, I don't drive in normal mode often though, because it's just not fun. It's not. The, the throttle response is just very reduced. Uh, the car feels sluggish in normal mode, but as it should though, because again, you're trying to conserve gas, okay? It's just, I guess you could call it its eco mode, is normal mode. And so then you have normal mode, then you have sport, right? So sport is just where you still are in normal, but then you knock the shifter down to, to sport mode, okay? That version is fun to drive in because, you know, the throttle response is more sensitive and the car does shift faster and it's a funner, more fun experience than normal. However, it still keeps it in that normal uh, suspension setting, right? And then also the exhaust mode, so the exhaust will stay in normal as well. Just not as fun of as, as uh, experienced as it could be. Uh, again, when you're driving on, like merging onto the highway, for instance, and you have it in sport, with the normal suspension, you can almost get this like floaty feeling as you're merging onto the highway or, or even whenever you're turning on curves in general. So it's fun, but again, you don't get that button down feeling, right? So, uh, and I'll skip Sport Plus, I'll save that for last. So track mode, you'd think, okay, well, always gonna have it in track mode. I'm always wanting to go zero to 100 and just have it just in beast mode all the time. I get that argument, right? Track mode, why drive in any other mode? Well, the thing is, when you're daily driving, you have the possibilities of potholes, railroad tracks, um, just rough roads in general that, that just are not pleasant to drive on when you're in track mode because although, yes, you love the throttle response, right? You love the sound of the vehicle when the uh, exhaust is in track mode, but the suspension in track mode is just, is just too jarring. Uh, hitting those potholes, hitting those rough patches of road is just so jarring in track mode that it doesn't make it convenient to drive in. So, now we'll get to the Sport Plus. Sport Plus is ideal when you're daily driving this car because you get the benefit of having the steering in Sport mode, you have the sensitive throttle response, you have the exhaust in sport, so it, it sounds awesome, but then you have the also the added benefit of not having, you have the stiffer suspension, but not quite as stiff as track. So you're able to live with driving on rough roads in sport plus, because it's enough to keep the suspension stiff when you're driving spiritedly on uh, curvy roads or uh, you know going, going canyon carving but you don't have the suspension so stiff that when you're hitting those potholes, when you're hitting those railroad tracks, it's just jarring and, and uncomfortable. Yes, more often than not, I am almost always driving in Sport Plus mode. Uh, I'll drive in track mode every now and then whenever I know I'm gonna be on parts of the road that I know are actually paved well, but really that's the only deal breaker, right? If roads were perfectly paved everywhere, then the ideal mode to drive in is track. Except for whenever there's bad weather, of course. I wouldn't recommend driving in track in bad weather. That's just not, not a smart move. But otherwise, if the world was just covered with possibly paved roads, then track mode is where it's at and I wouldn't look back. But that's just not the case. So, and, and, and that's what I really think it displays uh, whenever you put it in track mode for track use only. That's what I see. I see for track use only, only because tracks have nicely paved roads. 
Now you don't have to worry about hitting potholes. You have to worry about hitting rail bar tracks on the track, which is why it's ideal to drive in track mode. Which is why it's ideal to drive in track mode on the track because you don't have to worry about those different, you know, variables in the road. Otherwise, Sport Plus is where it's at. Exhaust sounds awesome. Throttle response is there. The suspension is stiff enough, and it's just an all-around awesome experience to drive in. And because of the, um, it still has traction control on, so you can drive in Sport Plus mode in rainy weather and not have to feel as paranoid or feel like you have to grip the wheel like your life depends on it if you're trying to do some, uh, you know, moderately spirited driving when the roads are not necessarily the driest. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of hit on that because just thought I'd share my feelings about which drive mode I like to drive in the most. I know some people say, okay, track mode, track mode for life. And I get that, right? I get it. Because like I said, driving in track mode, you got the nannies off, you got the, uh, auto response that just the it, it's it's you in the car for real right in track mode although even in track mode i think there's still some you know traction control in there i think you have to actually turn off advanced traction control for there to it be completely raw raw mustang right but uh